and welcome to integration tests lesson. In this video, we'll take a look on existing Magento integration tests, framework and configuration for it. Then we'll create a picture and integration test for checkout success controller to verify the output of our order success block. First, let's take a look on existing Magento integration tests. They are located under Dev Tests Integration Test Suite directory. So, there are quite a lot of tests covering almost all Magento modules, and you can use those tests in, as example for your test. For example, let's take a look on Sales Controller Tests. As you can see, integration tests in Magento are using annotation for some helper functions like DB isolation or setting area. Also, using annotation, you can define a fixture in Magento integration test. And a fixture is a script that is responsible for setting up preconditions for this test. You can take a look on all available annotations if you'll go to framework. The framework is located under framework directory, and if you'll go to Magento test framework annotation namespace, you will see all handlers for all annotations. In this video, we'll use the picture annotation. Also, there are other useful components of framework to use an integration test. For example, we'll use the test case abstract controller and we'll extend this class in order to use predefined functions for controller testing. Finally, before running integration test, you, you have to specify your configuration and create a database, because integration tests are running on separate database not to mess up your environment. There is a template file under dev tests integration etc and it's called install config mysql.php.dist. This file is used to specify the database you would like to use for integration test your user, password and host for MySQL. What you need to do with this file is just to remove that dist extension, as I did here, and specify your real credentials. Additionally, you will need to create a database, as integration test framework assumes this database is already created, and give the permissions ensure that your user have permissions to work with the integration test database. Additionally, you can change any other values as you wish. Finally, to be able to run integration test from PHP Store, you have to specify the configuration file. In previous video, it was unit, php unit xml.dist, and for this Video for an integration test, you have to change it to integration PHP unit XML. Okay. Finally, there are some settings in PHP unit XML itself. So the file is identifying the full test suite and additional params like time zone, xdebug max nesting level. You probably will need to increase this setting if you have some issues. The path to, to MySQL config file. One important setting here is test cleanup. By default, it's enabled. As you can see, on my instances, is, it's disabled for the reason of saving time. Like, if you are developing integration test and you are running it frequently, you might want to disable cleanup because cleanup takes really a lot of time. However, on real builds, you would like to keep clean up because uh, it will provide you the isolation insurance. That's it. Now, let's once again take a look on the functionality we'd like to cover with integration test. And this is order success block. So, if you remember, if the order is placed and the amount of the order is lucky, so sum of digits, integer and decimal part of grand total of an order is the same, 
the customer will see your order is lucky message. That's what we are going to test. The correct place for integration tests is as per Magento approach. It's dev tests integration test suite directory. As you can see, all tests are here. However, we would like to keep all our tests inside the module so that we can keep it in separate repository, for example. So for this purpose, I have created an integration directory under test directory in the root of our module, and I have already created a fixture. So default pass for fixture is that it can be any unique pass, but to be consistent with other modules, it will be underscore files and the name of the fixture. My name is Lucky Order. Here I am reusing existing fixtures, so I have specified a pass to the actual integration test suite, and I am using default rollback from Magento Sales Model, that is just removing all products and all orders from database if they are existing there not to uh, not, not to interact with our test and Magenta catalog product simple features that will create a simple product will include in the order. Then just setting up billing, shipping, address, payment, like all order dependencies. Finally, uh, adding a product to an order. And here I am setting all required values for the order, including the lucky amount. Like we, we should take a look on this base grand total so that we can see the message on success page. Finally, I am doing a bit of uh, hacks here, retrieving session from object manager and setting the order and quote IDs. For quote IDs, in this case, I am using just any dummy data that will, will be assumed as true on in success controller verification to make sure that we will not be redirected to card page and we'll see the success message. So we'll use this feature in in the uh, test that we'll create right now. And let's name this test uh, the same as unit test for our block, like order success test. Okay, so I specified a namespace and name of a class, and as I said, I'd like to extend Magento Test Framework Test Case Abstract Controller class, as it will provide us some helper functions that we'll use. And let's create a test function. This function will be called Test Lucky Order. And the first thing we'd like to do in the test is just to dispatch the checkout controller. So it's checkout, one page, success. And on the page rendered by this controller, we are expecting to see your order is lucky message. So we will call assert contains function of PHP unit. Your order is lucky and as an actual result we'll call this get response get body okay finally finally to be able to open this page without redirect to shopping cart and to see the success message we have to trigger the picture that we prepared and this can be done by annotation Magento data fixture. Uh, I could specify the file pass here as it is specified in all other Magento tests. However, I cannot do it from the location of my module. The file pass can be specified only if you your test is under test suite because the test suite directory is currently hard coded for 
for that annotation handler. However, instead of using the path to the file, we can use a function reference here. So I would like to set load fixture function and create public static function with the same name load fixture. And here I will include the prepared fixture. So it's current directory files lucky order dot php. Okay, that's it. So when I will launch test, first a fixture will be loaded. The fixture will create an order and will update values in checkout session. Then I will call the checkout one page success controller that will check checkout session. Let's actually go to that controller to see how it works. So as my Magento is installed using Composer, I go to Vendor Magento Module Checkout uh, Controller One Page Success. I even have a breakpoint here. So it will validate the request. Actually, validator will check all the data that I have set to session, and finally it will return uh, true and will not be redirected to cart. We'll go to page rendering. All values related to order are set to session, so all Magento functionality should work as during usual order place. And uh, result page will be rendered. Our block is included in result page. So our test will get a response as a result of this dispatch. And then we will retrieve a body from response and check if the body contains this piece of screen. If it contains your order is lucky message, we will assume the test has passed. If it doesn't, test will fail. Let's run it. So our test passed and, and this is for integration test. In the next video, we'll go further and create some web API tests. See you!